grab that crab. I guess I can start here, probably. Dr. Holiday? Don't mind if I do. Let's grab one fire Ellie here. Charged hammer? Probably not getting another charged hammer, but maybe not getting another knight captain. It can be a little awkward too, taking some extra weapons. I think I'll take the knight captain. An actual incredible shaman? We're going to get an incredible shaman, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the dragon's okay. The one in the middle. The one on the left sucks. I kind of don't hate thing from below. I hate having two sixes and two fives in my first four picks, but I'm sure that won't continue. Thing is, I'm sure I won't take a second thing from below. Um, there's just some, like, two mana, three, two that spits out a totem. There's a couple draftable totems. Chasam gifting five subs? What the glorious heck? Thanks, man. This is great. This is good. This is okay. I, I feel like if you have um, Doc Holiday in your deck, you can't run Rust Rot Viper. It's like, you know, it's not right. Thing isn't six. Well, it kind of is. <laughs> so it starts at six. Welcome. And if I'm if I'm if I'm proactively, if I'm just like passively getting totems out, sure. But if I'm like working to cast the totems so I can reduce this, then it's pretty bad, right? Like your hero power doesn't really help it, but there are other cards that kind of do. Oh baby, I like this. I would run a mechanist. Like yeah, whatever. In a Highlander deck, sure, but. I'm down for this infested watcher. Thorin Gear Drake, what the heck? Seeing some shaman cards I are almost never see. I mean, the, the meta's new, but I haven't had Note Taker a lot. I very rarely have this guy. Thorin Gear Drake doesn't show up much. Uh, wow, Containment Unit would be good. Maybe we'll get another Containment Unit. Thank you, Chisom, though. Don't know what I did, but I'll try to do it again. Whatever. 10D, 10D Shaman. So like a, a flame tongue is like like it kind of works, but I don't like that card. I think a two that helps me draw could be nice. I'm down. I'm down for that guy. Oh, I love wind chill. I'm a huge wind chill fan. I think that card's really good. I'd run both of these threes pretty happily, and it's plausible that we end up with some of them. I think he wants to go out. Let me see. Bet him. He took a nap. Watch out, buddy. If you wanna go outside, you gotta move a little bit. There you go. Let me see if he wants out. It's not raining. It's not that cold. He's probably going to go out. All right, let me grab that wind chill. Every time I feel sad, I play Paladin. Does it make you feel happy? You think treasures helped with the Highlander archetype? It's one less card with a powerful card, which you can only ever get one. Eh, it doesn't hurt, but I don't think it really helps much. Maybe a very, very small percent, right? Oh, I would absolutely love to take another wind chill. Um, I, the cruiser's good. Dehydrate is fine, too. Problem is I don't have the elementals right now, but maybe. Left before we could say goodbye. Oh, he'll be back. Oh, no. I want that. I guess I can take a proto. Proto's a good card, too. Oh, I love Disciple of Golganeth. Um, how many overload cards do I have right now? Don't tell me zero. One? Okay, maybe I'll get another one. I do like Miracle Salesman, too. I wouldn't mind one of each. A drafted Tendi? I guess I'm supposed to take a line dance partner. In honor of uh, Daniel. I didn't. I don't know if Daniel chatted at all either. But in honor of Daniel, I'm going to take it. I feel like I equate Daniel to line dance partner now. I fell asleep last night, but I watched the restream. Five gifted subs for five wins is fair. Oh, come on. Zero gifted subs. I'm sorry. I missed that. Zero gifted subs is fair for five wins. But five is very much appreciated. Shockhopper's great. Uh, there is a legendary excavate treasure for shaman now. I might get another shock hopper. All right, I'm gonna take this miner. I'm not gonna get another miner. So, bolt, trog, Argus. I'm gonna take the bolt here. Well, I did get another miner, but I can take the shock hopper now, and that leaves me. Don't worry, available to still get another trick totem. I know we all love trick totem. Wait, I'm actually getting excavate cards. I could have had three excavates. Give a minion wind fury and divine shield and excavate a treasure. Psh, give me that. Uh, I'm going to take the gatekeeper. Help me find, you know, my excavate pieces or my holiday if I don't have it. I hate trick totem. <laughs> he can be temperamental. Uh, I think I'll take the troll. I don't really want more expensive cards necessarily, but I think it's enough better than these. 
Oh my god. Wait, I have three excavates? And I could have had four? I don't even know what the shaman legendary treasure is and I want it real bad. <laughs> yeah, lightning reflex is great. I would love a witch doctor. Okay, we'll run the living prairie. We need a menacing menacing nimbus maybe. Pebbly page. Tumbleweed. There's a card you want one copy of at least. And so it comes to this. Is there a legendary shaman excavate? Yeah, there is now. It's like a murloc that wins the game or something. All right, I know I have this card, but I don't care. I don't want these and I want this, so. I'll take it. There's an elemental for us. Do I have a forge? One dupe is surely okay. It'll be okay. One dupe. Surely. Um, Sigmund Frude. <laughs> Thanks for your follow, Sigmund. Uh, do I have a forge? No. Oh man, that hammer's great. Dude, I want this brew. Oh man, I want that brew. The hammer's just too good. I don't care. I've, I didn't even, I don't even know. I'm not even going to look up what the legendary treasure is. Um, I think I'm actually going to take the, the mech here. It's another three for my line dance partner. My early game is shit, not that this helps that much, but I think it's better than overloading in the early game, and I think it's better, uh, I think it's better than nothing, right? Oh my god, and they gave me the crab. Well, if we're not dead on turn three or four, I'm gonna pass Dreadspot and, uh, Mage Armor. Shaman deck either goes 24-0 or 0-6. I really actually agree with that. I think it either loses six in a row, or it goes 24-0, and and nothing in between. This crab kind of looks a little like Deformed Boogie, I feel like. Also Dreadspot. I actually think Dreadspot is decent. But probably not in this stack. Maybe, though. Our card quality is absurd. Our curve sucks. If you could, like, ditch... Um... Wait, was I? No, I'm off cam now. Hold on, I'm going to close the door. Because he left, and it's not cold. It's actually kind of nice out. Roll versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine for Doomhammer. Okay. Oh wait, I want to keep that, right? That's one of my dupes. I predicted 12-0. It's up to you now. It's up to me. As long as I draw my dupe and a 2-drop and maybe a 1-drop, we should be good. What's our other dupe? Oh, the Burrow Buster. Well, technically that's a, a 1, I guess. You fold. What's my best draw here? Well, honestly... This turn, that's not my best draw, but beggars can't be choosers, and those of us who took two duplicates and have an active Doc Holiday on five probably can't uh, complain too much either. Right? I mean, I can complain about this card. Of course. Of course. Do they change drafting again? Uh, you don't get a legendary. You get a duel's treasure at the end, and they did change that. And oh my days, isn't that better? You get to kill something. Yeah, fine, whatever. He kills something and he doesn't outright kill my guy here. He runs it in. Maybe he uses the, the bell spell to kill it. All right, good night, everyone. Time to get four hours of sleep. I've been getting four or five hours of sleep the last like two months. I'm not totally concerned, but I was so tired yesterday. I didn't even make food, and I went to basically, like, not straight to bed, but I went, like, pretty quickly to bed. And I still woke up, like, four hours later. I think it's, like, old man bladder. I had to pee. Every morning I feel like I gotta pee. Am I weird for thinking Thoracian is a better legendary pink than Hala? And Dr. Boom on Mage? Uh, yes. Thoracian's bad. Thorason? Thorason? It's bad, I think. Look up the win rates. I'm assuming... I don't really know how to spell his name. Uh, actually, his played win rate's pretty high. His deck win rate's okay. I imagine Hala's played win rate. Well, okay, Hala's stats are horrible. Doctor... Boom has pretty good stats. Eh, it's kind of close between him and Boom, like, stat-wise. I'm not sure if that is, like the best indication, but maybe. I think you should take whatever card you want and then see how it works out and just have fun, you know? Wing. 
just keep winging. I have to be at the gym in a bit more than three hours and I haven't slept. Why do you have to be at the gym? Do you work at the gym or you just have to go to the gym? Can you just push the gym back a few hours or another day? The joke was not funny enough to be read. I just read it now, but I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. I promised my buddy I'd be there. Well, he'll probably understand if you're busy sleeping. I can go three and four, or I can play this monstrous being. I mean, this thing gets Wind Fury. That would be delightful. Who's on Epstein's Island? Stephen Hawking's? Huh, I don't know too much about. Did anybody go to that island and they weren't like a criminal? Do you think? I don't know much about the island other than it seems like an evil place. I also want to change my schedule back for school. My sleep schedule, that is. Yeah, I was trying to fix my sleep schedule. I'm trying. Just trying to sleep better. You know what I probably can try to? I mean, it's it's having to pee is what's waking me up. Maybe I need to do some Kegel exercises or something. You guys went to the island to mop the floors. Probably had a plumber or something at some point. Maybe they were, like, imprisoned. The plumber was... Uh, Roto Rooter was was trapped on the island. They didn't let him leave. Maybe six, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, nineteen. I could find lethal. Maybe it's not a nature spell. There's no way I have enough mana for that. Let's um. Elements guide me. Transform all other minions into ones that cost three more. All my other minions. Cool. Sleep apnea can make you produce more pee during the night. Dreads went oh, already read that. Dredge was on the island mopping the floors. Including your deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. That felt fair. Fair and fun. Just pray that nobody drafts a stream a steam cleaner. That one's not in the meta, thankfully. I'm here. I may have bought two more for Doomhammer. Magic the Gathering packs. I had to go to a different store and I had to ride my bike in the rain, which I think means they're going to be really lucky. But don't worry, I had a $5 coupon. So. Golden Monkey, Azerite, Murloc. We open them together? Yeah, on stream you think, or you think chat shouldn't see. Open a pack now. No, maybe at the end of the stream. Hmm, that's up to you. No, it's up to you. Does opening them together count as a... What if, what if... I, I were to open these ones on stream, and then as a result would have to get more. <laughs> Plus, you know, people supported the stream today, and they, they might want Redbeard to be, uh, you know, happy and have, um... It should be a totem. It should honestly count as a totem. That's such a good one to get. <laughs> then we could get more. How many you got there? I have two. <laughs> two. Could you repeat that? Uh, no overload cards. So let's take this one. I'll write that to rise to the we make off of subs every month. Uh, it, it, the, uh, sub money is, is very much variable. I assume you mean off of Twitch specifically. Um, and that is also very much variable. Um, right now, I assume we're at close to the highest amount of subscriber points we've ever had. Uh, we have 1,404 subscriber points. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, and then play the bomber, actually. You know what? Let's just take the bomber. Kill both of them, probably. I don't have a play for next turn, so I kind of dig this. Um... But that's the highest we've ever had. Like last month or two months ago, I think we went all the way down to like five or six hundred subscriber points. Which, you know, whatever. Multiply that by five and basically cut it in half is sort of what you get from subs. Um, last month, we probably made like a thousand or two thousand maybe dollars uh, uh, in, in ad revenue. But this month, we probably will, will make less than half of that. So you have to... 
factor those things in. That goes to one. I'm gonna put this one to two. I'm gonna put this one to two so he can't dagger or phantom. Is it 250 a subscriber? It's actually not. Um, so you kind of can't even really calculate it yourself. It's basically um, where people sub from uh, is also variable. So if it's if somebody spends five dollars, you get half of that. If somebody spends if they if, if a sub in their country is three dollars, then you get a dollar fifty. So you get half of what somebody spends. Eh. Has not being with Team Liquid affected you a lot financially? In the short term, I mean, no. I mean, they were paying me a salary, but they're no longer paying me. But it wasn't a ton of money. But as a streamer, you don't always have access to a lot of consistency, right? So having a guaranteed, like, small set amount of money is nice, for sure. But a month where we do, like, let's say a month where we did three sponsored streams for, for like, not just the Twitch bounties, but if we did like three real sponsored streams, that would pay more than like one sponsored stream and what Team, Li Team Liquid was paying me. But again, I don't know if, you know, there's no guarantee you're gonna. Actually better to keep this one in case you rolled a healing totem or if I roll a healing totem next turn. This one can be comma 3-3. Three, three. The other one's stuck at a 3-2. What's my liquid name? Redbeard. Do the sponsorships go through someone other than yourself? Uh, some of the sponsorships could go through liquid when I was with them. But since I'm no longer with them, then it's all through me. Um, but in the two years I was with liquid, I did two sponsored streams with them negotiating on my behalf. They paid less than everyone that I got on my own because they take a cut. And they also didn't seem to get that many opportunities, like as an organization, at least not for my stream or stream my size. I'm sure you can get a lot of um, a lot of stuff for like Hungrybox or uh, Fabulous Jonas, the amazing Jonas. Morning, Red. What's up, Leah? Someone gifted you a sub? Yeah, maybe I'm two mana, maybe Daniel, maybe Chasson. But, yeah, so, like, there may be a month, like, this month we may not get the liquid support. Maybe, like, you know, something crazy like Jandis comes in and we, like, maybe make more money that month, even though we don't have the liquid payment or whatever. So, it's about finding, like, different, different sources of potential revenue streams. I mean, the real key is to go beyond Twitch, right? YouTube, TikTok other other things you know selling merch so you're not just reliant on ad revenue or subs or bits or or merch or a, a sponsored stream so just have as many um options as you can again that's not always within your yeah. capability a lot of it's out of your control and you're just kind of hoping that some opportunities will present themselves and sometimes you can seek them out too right like you can if things got really bad, I'd probably like, I'd probably reduce my expectations and my rate, and I'd probably reach out to more companies and stuff. I have to dance more on TikTok, Red. Thanks for the info. Yeah, hopefully it, you know, is interesting or helpful or whatever. Hey, thank you for the prime, man. Enjoy. You know, I've always been. Wait, I'm actually overdrawing. I've always been um, exceptionally lucky to have as much support from the community, the Hearthstone Arena community, as I do yet. Um, and that, in my streaming career, has allowed me to, you know, do this as long as I have, as com comfortably as I have. That is very much annoying. And while it's entirely my fault, it also could have not happened. You know what I mean? Oh, it'll for sure hit itself. Oh, no. Um, it could have burned any other card in my deck. That would have been, some would say, cooler. That burned. <laughs> yeah. So, at the end of the day, you know, every everything counts. One Twitch Prime, somebody, you know, just hanging out here. 
and falling asleep and letting an ad play while the stream's running. You know, somebody watching the stream while we get an opportunity to play a Twitch bounty might be the difference between, you know, getting paid or not getting paid for those things. What I've, what I've learned is... If you can just acquire a higher, high enough viewership, then you don't really have to worry about any of this stuff. You will get... You will get the opportunities, and that's, you know, that's the most important thing. Which just ultimately means, you know, you need to try to put out the best product you can as often as you can and hope to get a little lucky, right? I'm doing my part. Anybody here listening to this spiel is doing their part. Anybody who's subscribed to the YouTube and watches once in a while is doing their part. Anybody who, uh, you know, honestly, people who watch Colst and Save File and Dose that sometimes find their way over here, they're doing their part too. All very helpful. And I actually find that very rewarding and 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 a very fun aspect of you know the sh streaming business in, in and of itself. That sort of like communal feeling, right? A little bit counts. It's not like it's me and one other person, and that person is paying me sixty thousand dollars or whatever, and I'm just not doing you know like that. Then then I'd probably have to do some weird shit for them. <laughs> I probably have to do some. The bad things. I have an ad block, but I download your sponsored games a lot, and I hope that's fair. Yeah, so at the end of the day, like, I'm not telling anybody what to do with their lives or whatnot. I know people run ad block. I may have accidentally been running an ad block for 15 minutes one day in 2014. I get it. And the and the the money you get from ads is is very, very small. So I'd much rather somebody run an ad block and be here than not want to watch Twitch at all because there's too many ads. I'd much rather they just be here. No? I, I would I would much rather um, I would much rather have Twitch pay us a, a better percentage of the ad revenue, which seems to be just very paltry, but you know, of course people want more money. Uh, Colst, speaking of more money, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Thanks for letting us watch your run. Well, I took a mean number two. I mean, I refreshed my water. I How, how did that um, run end up? Wait, I don't want to... Could I get a different card? I can coin that out, but eh, I'll just get two, three drops. It's a lot of stats right there. If you guys don't follow Coles, hopefully we can get a mod to... um. Hopefully we can get a mod to shout out Coles, but if you guys are looking for high level, excuse me, if you guys are looking for high level gameplay and uh, a kind hearted man, uh, definitely one of the best streams to learn and improve from. Uh, I highly recommend Colst's stream. What I would say too is Colst has made Dreads the angriest of anyone so far in uh, uh, the 2024, and uh, so that is another reason to support him. Very funny. Upsetting dreads. I know it's not hard, but that's the maddest he's been so far. That was me. Did you? What did you do? Pulse will show you how to go from 0 wins to 12. It really is no big deal. Well, that's a big deal. It's kind of hard to do that. <laughs> kind of hard. I went to go give Coles my prime today and some sicko gifted me a sub. Don't you just hate that? Don't you just hate that? What am I doing with my mana here? Play this. I want to coin this next turn. Yeah, no, I don't want to play that because he's going to kill it. I'm going to burn cards. I'm going to burn Doc Holiday again, I'm sure. I have so many eights. All right, he won't kill it. It's fine. A real dick move to kill it. Dredge is running for Mad Lad. Mad Lord 2024. <laughs> I didn't miss a, a Colts message, did I? Hopefully you guys just... You know, check him out. What an asshole, Chuck. I hope you chewed him out. As long as I don't burn Doc Holiday or Burrow Buster. Sure. But now I don't want to coin this out. We played an elemental last turn. Wait, my turn sucks. 
Is this some kind of sick joke? Wonderful. Good. Doesn't help me. Um. Cole's too bad, boy. Taking three oysters. Cole's or Redbeard? It's Redbeard that took those oysters. What was happening? It wasn't that big. Remember when he said that? <laughs> that boy ain't right. Whoa. Slow down there, ready. I'm gonna keep the uh, weapon charge here. I picked a scar deck and it did not work the way I thought it would. Like the card didn't work the way you thought it would or like the deck didn't pan out. You thought it would not reset to one? <laughs> Feels like it shouldn't reset, but I guess that might be too good. In arena, that would be a... In arena, that would probably be a fair card still. Like, maybe if it was like, it had to be in your hand, but any elemental you played while it was in your hand kind of helped it tick up or whatever. Earlier today, my opponent's ogre outlaw hit my face. This ogre ability and my wandering monster didn't proc. Yeah, I've seen that interaction, actually. Um, because it says win. So at the time of the secret checking, uh, your face wasn't attacked. So it kind of like supersedes it. It's a little weird. Feels a little counterintuitive, but is the way it works. I don't know if that's the way it should work, but it is the way that it does work. Gangster doesn't trigger secrets, does it not? Wind Fury, Divine Shield. It's kind of nice. So is this. Maybe we just do this. If I could just free kill it and then hit the other one, I think I'd be down. It's 16F, it's so cold. It never even got that cold here, even during the ice storm. That has so many options late game, you have to just get there. Yeah, it's true. I just get burned out here. I need life steal. You will not come closer. That thing with wind fury is nice. <laughs> Might be wrong, but at the same time, kind of dig it. Feels nice. I got to play the Excavate Legendary for Shaman, it was insane. I, I generated it in the first game, even though I only have three. Uh, I cast Conductivity and this spell on my board. <laughs> and then my opponent conceded before I could play it, but I was able to read it. And I didn't actually remember what it did, so at least I know what it does now. Who do you, who do you generally think is the best arena player out of all the biggest streamers? It's tough to say. My gut says Judge is the first one that comes to mind out of the biggest streamers. I know Mermody's streams, and I think he might be the best current arena player. But if you're talking about like Save, Dose, PJ, Redbeard, Colst, Dreads, I think maybe Judge? You have four. Oh, you're right, I do. I'm sorry, I forgot. I got a four. Dreads keeps telling me he is the best. Um, no, he's not, but he's very good. I mean, Dreads is a lot closer to the best than the 100th best. How did Colst anger Dreads so much? Uh, he made a YouTube comment that uh, I think had a lot of truth in it on the Rarin and Dreads video where Dreads was saying like, uh, you have to retire like 30 decks if you want to go 12. And Cole said, like, you don't have to retire that. Dose is pretty good. I mean, Dose is an incredible player. Hmm. Somebody just asked me who the best was. And I'm not sure if it is Judge, but that was who came to mind first of the big streamers. But all of the big streamers and many, many players are very, very good at the game. You know, all the people I listed are great players. Dreads, Save, Colst, I wonder. Judge, Dose. Mermides, you know, Jumi used to stream. I don't know what to do here.
Let's assume it's... Is Flame Ward in? Wait a minute, is Flame Ward not in? Mary is fantastic. Is that Mermadies? There's not a big streamer that also isn't a top player. Yeah, of those players, Redbeard might be the worst these days. I miss Jumi. Jumi's a great guy. I don't really know him too well. Oh, Greg? Greg? Maybe Greg. I didn't, we didn't mention Greg, huh? Or I didn't. Greg is closer to Judge than he is to Redbeard, I think. Neo Greg. If you guys aren't familiar with Neo Greg. Greg, Greg definitely has the best hair. He got a haircut, didn't he? Or he tied his hair back. I was lurking in his stream and I didn't see his um, legendary locks. I really... Five, seven, right, two. Oh, shit. Well, I had to play that, huh? The Azurite Murloc. I don't really know what it's doing. It changes. Oh! <laughs> changes my current board? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Did I miss damage? Oh, my days. Wait. Oh, no. I'm going to eat that guy. Oh my god, I got an active Ray Estraza. <laughs> an abominable lieutenant. <laughs> Three mana I mean. Holy hell. Is Wild Wildpaw Cavern a spell? Yeah. Jeez Louise. I miss old Redbeard. Just one more whiskey and cola. Brazilian fart jokes. Redbeard, not 1,000 beers, Redbeard. I miss old Redbeard. I have a whiskey and cola right here. And I just accidentally farted when I cast that card. At least I hope that was a fart. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, what a complete and utter delight. I might, if I lose this game, I'll be annoyed, but until that time, I'm having a great time. If that wasn't a fart, we're in a big trouble. Butt Spot and Soundboard Redbeard. Twitch banned Butt Spot for a while. I think they unbanned or they like loosened the, the reins on all those bots. They like allowed them or something. Stop this. Stop. Well, actually, this is fine. As long as he agrees not to kill me. No, 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 no. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lordy Lord Redbeard, you're really doing it. I need freaking board space. Now Red has to do things like appeal to the advertiser's family demographic and not talk about ripping foul gas out of his south mouth all night. Well played. You know, I stopped having fun. <laughs> stopped having fun towards the end of that game. South mouth? Was a game of Hearthstone? I mean, you gotta give it to him. Molding? Definitely not happy about that. I like that we played the heal. I like that we did everything we could. I guess I could have played the Lightning Reflex. I don't know how much over lethal he had. I could have played the Lightning Reflex and maybe got a Dehydrate and shot one of my own guys. And I might have survived 27 face damage for 9 mana or whatever. I was just sick on my reheated pizza. <laughs> I uh, I don't look at what just happened and think that that was, you know, good. 24 from hand. I don't know how you could deal with that. Killed by a randomly generated rock from a randomly generated kobold. <laughs> yeah. We had maybe the best hand and board we've ever had, and then died two turns later when he had nothing on board. Probably not a good thing for the for the game of Hearthstone to be able to do that. It's probably not good. Best point of advice if you're trying to last an arena, Hearthstone, be able to play a lot of arena? Oh my god, that could have been so much better for me. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you're asking me. Um... Best point of advice if you're trying to last in Arena Hearthstone to be able to play a lot of Arena. Like, just casually play? You read it wrong. Best point of advice if you're trying to last in Arena Hearthstone to be able to play a lot of Arena. Yeah, I read those words. None of that is, like, particularly easily discernible English. I I'm not trying to be rude. It's not punctuated at all, and there's some misspelled words. Um... If you want to play a lot of Arena, the best thing you can do is make multiple accounts and unlock Arena on all three servers, and then you'll get a bunch of quests on all of them. You talk about how to, like, last in the Hearthstone Arena in terms of, like, winning games, which might be different, but I'm still not entirely sure. You want to um, draft a, a good curve 
make responsible trades, identify when like you're behind on board. You need to like play for tempo or play for value. Those are hard things. They're kind of abstract concepts in a way, but those are things you kind of need to do. Like, read it wrong? You just aren't using any commas. <laughs> Trying my best, but it does feel like there's a lot of missing words or punctuation in there. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just I'm not sure if it's fair to say what I did wrong there. When I need to last, I think about grandma. Why are you so upset about spelling mistakes? Last thing I remember, you don't speak any other languages. Maybe it's not his first language. I'm not upset at all. Those guys told me I read it wrong. I read what I believe is exactly what he wrote. And understood very little of it. Upset in the slightest. It sounds like you might be a little upset, Bongo Man, which I would say try chilling out. Whatever's upsetting you is not that big of a deal. I'm a bottle and a half deep in wine here, so I'm trying my best. I think you're doing okay. Go off, chat. We're crushing it. I don't know. I feel like chat's kind of kind of losing the beat here for a little bit at least. Resorting to the old the streamer's mad about something they don't care about is a not a not an enviable not an enviable take I don't think it's my first language before the bottle. My first language is Klingon. Sorry. Oh okay, I'll forgive you this time. Mama always taught me to forgive the Klingons. <laughs> Bad boy Chuck, he's really took on the uh, like the pseudo um, Alez role in Alez's absence. You like the deformed poet Alez role? Side with the side with the chat when they're taking weird weird stances. Oh, that would have been great to get. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> yeah, not wholly like you haven't fully committed, but those guys didn't fully commit off the bat. They were sort of molded by the Twitch chat. You know, they were raised by the Twitch chat, molded by it. Um, I can push a fair amount of damage. I'd like to kill that without giving him any life, though. Sure. It's like, it sort of deals five to him. I'll just take one of these. It's good to have. Have we encountered containment unit into Proto Drake yet? I have on the very first day, Lewis. <laughs> um, how does it work? Evans? Their proto drake summoned a containment unit. I don't think that the containment unit summoned a proto drake though. I did have a proto drake into a containment unit. He was guaranteed. Well, I do keep getting a bunch of seven mana four fours. I've noticed that. Um, he was guaranteed to win that brawl, so that's not like some overt bad luck um, because he has excavated twice. It's annoying that he had it, and it's annoying that I got a card that could die to his four-cost weapon, but he was guaranteed to win that at the very least. Um... I wonder... I wonder... I'm gonna get to push three this way. The problem is, like, I've got all these reactive cards. I can't really do all that much proactive here. Holy Book is nasty, yeah. My first run was an incredible rogue deck that went six and three. Because somebody just kept casting two, two. We lost two games to Holy Book, hitting our Velarock in one game, and then we had a Holy Book in our deck, but unfortunately, we didn't draw it. Good news is after that last scam, uh, we don't lose two in a row. Go top three class. I mean, there are classes that have the highest win rate as far as HS replay goes. But my personal list wouldn't currently put Warlock at the top, even though it has the highest win rate, because I've drafted two dog shit Warlocks. Um, but it's like a lot of it's dependent on do you get a good legendary and do you get a good duels treasure? Because if you get a really good deck with a bad legendary and a bad duels treasure, and someone just casts Crab on you or a Holy Book or a 2 mana 8-8 eight, eight taunt or whatever, like it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't matter how good the rest of your deck is if you don't have like a very specific tool to counter one of those very specific cards. Surely there's a clip out there that alternates containment unit proto drake multiple times. I mean, it will happen for sure. I want that, but it's really not 
not gonna happen. <laughs> Maybe I should ditch this. Because it's like, like... It's good for my curve. But what am I... What, like, I'm just keeping a river croc, basically, right? Crab is feeding well. <laughs> yeah, the crab... Is that the, I think that's the first crab we cast, no, though. Grace. Isn't it? I have grace, right? Drink some sludge. Good, bro, at finding shit in these death rattles. <laughs> Somebody's got to get the lowest rolls. So that someone else, Dreads, can get the highest rolls. I want to see Drake, unit Drake against Dreads so bad, I can't imagine how mad he'd get. I really wish Dreads got unlucky sometimes. He seems to only get insanely lucky. But I'm waiting too for those moments where he gets unlucky. I'm waiting for th that time. Eagerly, gladly anticipating such such a thing. Who has the oyster clip at the ready? You know what, Donnie? I've got you. I've got you. Just three? Can I get a mech out? So what was happening? No, wait, sorry, that was PJ. That's PJ's part. So what was happening? <laughs> That's it. So what was happening? Uh, that's not good. I guess zap? Oh, I really don't want to zap, though. I'll get another spell here. Elixir? Elixir heals kind of nice here. Let's ditch this. See if we can find a four or something like that. Tumbleweed's nice to have. I can't play my fives next turn, though. That's kind of a disaster. Tear? Oh, tear's great. Stonebinder? Which one's that? What does that one do? Um, Tear is just an awesome card, though. That is not what we want. That could be that, the totem. Mm. I'd rather have a totem than this shitter in my hand. Disaster? I kind of got a bit of disasters going here. I get, guarantee I get the rock. That would be swell. I could draw another card. Uh, that's a... Well, I could shoot this one. We'll see. I have Chaos. It's kind of dog do. Um, Alright, I'm just going to Night Captain. It takes off 8 power, and I still get to draw an extra card this way. And it feels a little better in the sense that, like, I'm not losing a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> sure, I could have shot this one and got a 6-6, six, six, but, you know... What are you gonna do? Discover an elemental to summon and add the other to seven, uh, the other to your seven mana hand, to your hand. Seven mana, five, six. Uh, yeah, that card's probably okay. Um, why? How? How did he cast this for seven? Uh, I can eat it later. I can play the, okay, here, let's play the elemental and the watcher. See if we can set up a tumbleweed, maybe. Is that treasure available for all classes? Uh, which treasure? This one? The duels treasures are available for, um, for every class. They're all neutral. Okay. Wait, almost perfect? Uh, no. No. I guess it could be worse. One, five, eight, whatever. I wanted, okay, maybe we'll, um, a uh, uh, demon hunter, uh, death knight, one mana deal, like, X amount to this. This one, this one. I mean, I keep my 1-1 one, one this way. I guess it's at full health, too, the life seal doesn't really matter right now. It's all his treasure, not a, not a great treasure. But I, I think this card could be cool. Like, you'd have to change a little something about it. Give your minions plus one, plus one, and life steal, like... This turn, you can go over 30 health or something. Something like that would be better and more interesting. It just feels like a bad spell, you know? I have been chosen by Almond Tits herself. Yeah, tell me more about Almond Tits. Well, I don't have the ability to do this again. Both have been good for me. We mad is a lot for that. Like, you can come back but only if you're on board. Yeah. Like, a lot of these cards would be cooler if it was, like, 
Give your minions plus one plus one and lifesteal. If you have no minions, summon a 3-3 three, three with lifesteal. Or summon a random three and give it lifesteal. Something like that. And, and like that would feel like a dual treasure, right? If you're on the board, you get like this kind of big effect. If you're not, you get a, a minion still. You're not like the value is that it, it it's got some flexibility. I think that would be neato. I think that'd be like adequate, right? Let minions life steal over their max health. Uh pardon me. Right, let's do this. Elemental. Uh we're gonna run that in. We're gonna kill this guy. Wait, why did I run that in? So I could push one? Uh Maybe worth it. Maybe. If we can get like an extra poison or something. Life still seems contradictory to having board control. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Like if you're already on the board, you're probably ahead, right? You're probably not losing health. But like giving a wind fury would be too too potentially swingy. And again, a lot of these cards might have been calibrated for some effect in duels. Like, there might have been a, a duels passive that says, like, when you gain life, your opponent loses life instead or something. And maybe, like, there's there's more value in a card like that. I don't really know. Just need the right amount of wind fury, maybe? Um, well, not the one with Rush. Life steal. where's my Poisonous? That's not a valid this guy's out here rolling caca. Strong Worm. Well, it looked strong, but was it? I mean, sure. We didn't get any Wind Fury, though. Wind Fury on this, I think it's just lethal. Six. Nine, push another, what, we put three, three, four, maybe we wouldn't have had lethal with just one wind fury. Kill not your face, but themselves, and increase their max health for the amount overhealed. Yeah, that could be a thing, maybe. There's ways to make that card better and more interesting. Flying cow, that cow went flying, that was cool. First straight to 1-1, one, one. get better bonus effects for higher minions. I want um effects on minions that can attack this turn. Because if we get poison on a 1-1, one, one, then we can just trade the 6-6. Six, six. And the only other thing, we, we just get one on one of these. And I want to hold the crab in case I need it. But like, you're giving up the potential for poison to maybe get like, stealth on your Eye of Chaos. It just doesn't seem like it's worth it to me. Maybe it is. Um. Rangoons. I imagine they will curate the pool a bit more. For now, they want to dump them all in. They don't have to worry about changing them right since they are arena only. Yeah, they're just arena. Um, I don't think they dumped them all. I think this list is actually semi-curated already, but I'm actually not sure about that. List of all Hearthstone duels treasures. I think that this is like the curated pool. I think there are duels treasures that didn't make it in. I don't know what this Bro stuff is. Every hero, oh, every hero has their own treasures. Man, they really did design and develop a ton of stuff for duels. It's just so crazy, and I'm gonna sound, you know, like regular Redmere here. Ten percent of that effort into Arena probably would have been so much more lucrative for them. Like over the last five years, five percent of that effort invested into Arena would have probably paid so many more dividends for them. Uh, okay. Can I see the neutral treasures? I, I can't. Oh, maybe I can. I'm still scrolling. No. This list showed 800 things. <laughs> but not all the duels treasures. Advanced duels guide. List of treasures and card buckets. Is there a list of all the treasures in the new mode duels? <laughs> uh, let's see. This takes me to the same website. Uh... Current duels cards. Zero cards found. Does anybody have a list of all of them? Because I know there was a few that I haven't seen. It was amazing how arenas seem to always be more popular than duels, yet duels got all the attention. Yeah, I, I, it just always has been the feeling. Uh, Maddie, thank you for the follow. Thank you, Maddie. The feeling I've always had is that like they just wanted to 
like I don't know. It it feels like they needed to have a better way to monetize. They wanted a better way to monetize the mode. A mode. But like Arena was just sitting there. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's that like the devs just didn't play Arena a lot. Cause like Arena used to be like the mode where you could where like the most people watched too. Because people watched Crip. Like people watched Crip and Amaz and Hafu and like they had tens of thousands of viewers and those were the modes they played up primarily. Three three? Are any of these mechs? Yeah, it was always odd. Never made sense to me, but then again, you and I and many people here are arena junkies, so we must have been the minority, but man, there were tens of thousands of people watching Crypt play Arena and Amaz, and it seemed like there was an opportunity to put in a small amount of effort then. The answer's money. That's not an answer, it's not even a description of anything. The discussion is related to... I'll play this in case of fire sale or blizzard or whatever. The discussion is related to like... Like, yeah, of course, like they want to make money. They're paying people to design cards and to draw them and to voice them. Like, you have to make money. I'm not naive enough to think that making money isn't a priority for them. But the thought that you could make more money spending this much time and effort on duels as opposed to putting in 5 or 10% the effort on Arena and perhaps generating the equivalent amount of money or more. More what the discussion's about. We demand the staff of the Nine Frogs. They're not active yet, so I, I can't do that yet, but we will get the frogs. It may be a slog, but we will play the frog. But yeah, money. Money's good. I mean... Sometimes people will just kind of say like, oh, Blizzard just doing things for money, or this company's just doing things, things, for, things for money. Well, it's like, well, yeah, I mean, that's their job, right? Like, I'm streaming because I can make money doing it. Otherwise, I'd have to go work a job, you know? So yeah, you need money. Can push four, six. Uh, grab him? Grab that crab? I guess I can start here, probably. I hit him a bunch. Hasn't Mercenaries been a bust too? Oh yeah, Mercenaries they they, they stopped developing for before duels and in, you know, a sixth of the time that they've been out or 20% of the time they've been out. I think Mercenaries was a much bigger flop than duels. I'm not sure how, considering it seemed like duels was a humongous flop too. I remember Crip's birthday stream so well because it was hilarious. I think his 30th. But hey, you know, Arena, it has been getting maybe not 5% the attention of duels, but maybe like 2%. And I think it's cool. Treasures here, some micro adjustments here, the uh, the new expansions in Arena early. Like, yeah, it's all, you know, that's pretty good. Taz, he's not right to laugh at people because they're old. He was wearing a birthday hat, which was actually just some random woven hat he found. Someone in chat said through TTS. Don't listen to chat, Crip. I like your hat. Do they make them for men? That was classic. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. And Crip, I think, is a good spirit. He's a good sport about most of these things. I actually will keep this this time, because getting another copy of the coin is probably fine. And also, our curve does suck. So we kind of have to be a little careful how aggressively we mulligan. Old Arena Crip. Now you just have Redbeard. Really a deplorable state to find ourselves in. Well, the word arena crossed their mind one time. <laughs> I think it's due in no small part, not to toot our own horns, but I think it's due in no small part to the growth of the continued growth of the arena community in a 10 year old game. Like there are still arena channels that are growing and there are still tons of arena streamers making content. And I think that that factors in somewhat and the fact that they've kind of expanded the um creator program to allow a much wider range of 
content creators instead of just kind of like the old guard in the last like two years it's been much more um been much more varied i'm gonna freeze that one in hopes that i can do this right like you have myself and colst and and pj and zeddy and dose people who kind of were never really um i don't know what the word is they weren't really uh given much support in the past now you find should you get some support and you get to have a voice and you kind of see i i think i hope maybe i'm being naive but i hope that part of it is they see like the passionate fan bases and the passionate players and i think in the past there was sort of a misconception even within the dev team that like no matter what everyone would complain about everything and like the Arsene Arena community was like the most miserable fucks of everyone. I think that that was part of the perception. But I think it's a little bit different. My face? Oh, kind of useful. Uh, now uh, something that kills those things? Yeah, Tumbleweed might buy us time, right? I don't know much about Crip, but I think it's cool how seriously he dives into games and examines their systems. Oh yeah, I mean, he's an incredibly smart guy, passionate gamer, and skilled gamer. Crip gets a bad rep because he's one of the biggest streamers, and he, you know, doesn't interact with chat that much. But not everybody has to, you know, do the same thing or behave in the same way. I need time. My problem is I- oh, he's trading. Why is he trading? If he bloodlusts me, that would be a disaster from below. Alright, we're gonna try to remove the most damage we can. Hope he double trades and develops something that dies to Tumbleweed. He's a Redbeard supporter? Yeah, I mean, we've been lucky enough to receive a couple of raids from Crip. I've also talked to him a few times briefly, and he's always been very kind and very um, willing to help if you have questions or whatever. Like I said, it's a bad rep sometimes amongst the community at large. Or he's so big that he sort of became a meme, right? He's a real dude. And like somebody mentioned, you know, he's very passionate and dedicated uh, um, to the games. The entire eight hour stream, I was in stitches because it's full of moments like that. Rip Crip, Arena, and Assault Chronicles. I know. Now you're stuck with Redbeard. It's gotta be pure misery for most of you. Particularly Tasney, Crip's number one fan. <laughs> number one. Yeah. Play both of those next turn. He does get a bad rep. He gets a fat check to offset that. That's true. Redbeard is an active apologist for Blizzard's war crimes against Earth. That I don't think is true. That's not what I meant. I like it here. I was gonna say I got a two two. <laughs> This poor guy got the red beard roll. I mean, it's better than a red beard roll, but still, still pretty, uh, pretty juicy, yummy, and amazing. I'm eating a big ass T-bone steak, and it's delicious. No, you're not. You're just imagining that, probably, which is really quite pathetic when you think about it. Photos soon. Yeah, show the photos. Some people were mad at Crip for leaving Arena for Battlegrounds. Well, the internet is stupid. And everybody gets mad about everything. At the end of the day, people get to do what they want. That's one of the joys of streaming. And particularly if you're a wildly successful streamer like Crip, you get to do whatever you want. You don't have to do what other people want you to do. That's why you stream. You just play what you want. And that's that, right? I've noticed, you know, if you, you notice trend. The most annoying people and the most miserable people on uh, all the platforms, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, Twitter, any of those things, they're all telling other people what to do. They're all telling them like, they shouldn't eat this, they shouldn't wear that, they shouldn't, you know, twerk upside down, they shouldn't, you know, whatever they're doing, there's somebody there to tell you, you shouldn't do it and why. And those people aren't doing anything. <laughs> they're not doing anything with their lives. Not contributing anything to anyone of any meaningful capacity. Who cares? Tell them to shut, shut up. Take their phones. Take their phones away from them, I say. A curse of upon you. It's me. 
Very true. Shouldn't consume so much Brazilian fart porn. Why? Is that bad for your health? I'd argue, perhaps. And that's the thing, too. For everybody telling you that you shouldn't do something or something's bad for you, there's also, I mean, not everything, but like most things, there's someone else telling you that you should do that and it's good for you. People tell you what to eat. Oh, this is bad. This this all meat diet's bad. This all vegan diet's bad. Whatever. Oh, this will make you sick. It's like, okay, well, whatever. Everything makes you sick. Shut up and eat what you want. Knowing twats with some platform. Well, look, the twats with the platform are the, are that's a different category. People without a platform, or I guess their platform is just commenting on these YouTube comments or Twitter or Reddit threads or whatever. I wouldn't say they have much of a platform, but I, I suppose to a very small extent you do. But yeah, there's other people with huge platforms to tell people what to do and they profit off of it. Influencers. Red mirrored. But I'm not telling you guys what to do other than to shut up. <laughs> if you're one of those annoying people, that's okay. Well, sometimes people need to shut up. I don't know if this is right. I get to push a lot of damage here. Oh, that card's broken. I think that's the best one you can get now. Um, I'll go over it in just a moment. The three mana discover an elemental, so you can get a Ragnaros, or any, you can get an eight or nine, a ten cost elemental. And then you add the others to your hand, but you're almost always getting something. There was the three mana discover a five. I feel like you're going to very often hit something bigger than a five. So it's even better than that one, which was very strong. It's weird. Ignore people who tell you not to twerk. Turns out people don't like being told what to do by strangers they've never met. Who would have thought? Yeah, but like you can say that and like, oh yeah, people don't like that. So why would you do it? I was like, oh, I won't. But then people do it anyway, you know? But I think it's... it's When I was a kid, you know what the, the the boomer version of this was? It was people telling you that you bought, like, the, the wrong video game console. So if you bought, like, a, a Nintendo console or, like a, like, a Sony console, people, like, told you you were, like, bad or wrong for it. And it was, like, that was a thing. And you think it was, like, kids and whatnot, but it wasn't. They're, like, grown humans. <laughs> There's that guy we talked about. And I get the other ones. Neato. Uh, how am I killing that? This one? I think he must be dead. Um, live and let live? Yeah. Now there's a difference if somebody's like hurting someone else or whatever. People should rise up and tell them not to do that. And sometimes it's kind of hard to find that line. I mean, sometimes it's very easy. You know? Telling somebody not to eat like a piece of chicken and somebody telling somebody not to kill somebody. Like, but I think that's the thing too. It's like there's so much discourse that it's like people equate like sometimes I hear people say certain celebrities shouldn't have broken up or like that. I'm thinking, how can you possibly know that? Yeah. There's there's a thing in sports, so I I'm I, I you know like to follow all the sports. And uh there's another thing too. Uh with like rich people, but I, I, it's kind of the same concept. It's like if somebody's a really successful sports figure, right? And they let's say they play in, you know, Los Angeles, and then they they leave Los Angeles, whatever, and they leave like a good team to go to a bad team. All the comments are people talking about like, oh, they shouldn't have left. They should have stayed and like taken less money maybe to try to like win a championship. And it's like, okay, how about you stay at your job and make less money? Just because whatever, like because Taco Bell wants you for whatever, you know, like, well, well it's like, are you foregoing all of your opportunities just for any reason? No, of course not. So why would you tell someone else to do it? <laughs> they have no idea about their financial situation. Yeah. And it's like, oh, they have enough money. They made, you know, whatever, $10 million. It's like, well, maybe they spent it all on Pokemon cards. Maybe they bought a boat. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> but... They probably want more money. Maybe they don't care if they win a basketball championship. Maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe they don't. Hmm, Pokemon, who knows? People waste their money. Maybe they got a divorce. Maybe they have nine wives and nine, 18 kids. And they're, uh, you know, 
there. They're spending all that money. Quit. When I was a kid, the only console I had was a bit of pavement and some chalk. I wasn't rich like a Redbeard, the pretentious console owner. I didn't own any consoles, and I had to make my own chalk out of my own dandruff, poet. You had actual Crayola official brand chalk cubicles, crystals? Man, look at this rich guy over here, poet. Look at him. Have you considered that my favorite player should take a discount and play on my team because of how much I love the team? I have thought about that. As you may know, I am a big Los Angeles Kings fan. I do think there's it's entirely different when it comes to those players on the team that I root for. Yes, of course. Of course I've considered such things. Anyway, I also understand me telling people not to complain about things. A little hypocritical, a little contradictory, but sometimes it has to be said. Sometimes you just gotta tell people to shut up. I'm entering my old man phase. I went shopping for New Balances the other day. Didn't buy any. But the young lady at the store scared me. I think she had blue hair. And I just thought to myself, I'm getting out of here. Get me out of here. My cards all seem to suck. In which, in, in, in past games, they felt much better. It was like broken here, poet. Broke boy poet. Can't even afford a uh, vagina cookie or whatever. What if they hate their teammates? Yeah, what if they hate the city they live in? You know? Give you TwitchCon flashback. Which part? Sorry. I forgot what I was ranting about. I d tell me I played an elemental. I didn't play an elemental? How stupid of me. Hero power, bump, shoot, five and two. Gonna do this for now. He hits. He free kills there. I guess I hit then. Young blue haired lady. No, it didn't. Last TwitchCon was in Las Vegas. I didn't see any. Maybe there was blue haired people. These days, I just don't even. I don't even see people under the age of like 28. I don't even see them. Except sometimes I do see them and I. because I'm scared. And I just don't make eye contact. I guess I could have done this first, huh? Oh. If he was at 8, that would be a bit better, I suppose. Everybody always says not to pass on the blue-haired babe. Never turn your back on a blue-haired babe. I think Portland should have traded Dane for a bag of Oreos to the heat. And I don't think that's unreasonable. <laughs> Oreos, that's nature's candy. Okay, um, uh, my dupes aren't ready, my night captain does nothing, my 8 drop kills his 2 drop. Barely. He walked out of the store backwards. Actually, I didn't walk out backwards. Um, the young lady kind of made a face at me, kind of like, what the fuck? And then she kind of like turned around, and I just getting out of here. But I walked forwards. That's the truth. Well played. Uh, why did he cast eight spur fangs? You win this why did he have spur fang every turn for nine straight turns? Oh, I should have squeezed in a hero power. Darn it. She was passing gas and made a face. I don't think so. Maybe. Buzzard into everything you'd want to get buffed. I'm gonna keep this because it's a... Uh, oh my god. I'm gonna ditch those. Try to find a three. Try to find a two. Try to find my dupe. Lakit. Threes. Find a three. I feel like that was a pretty good joke. I don't understand it. It would be office space? How, how is that a joke? You don't pick the ones, silly. You don't pick the one, silly. Alright, our draw was horrible. Would you repeat that? If it was a novel, it would be crime and punishment. Because of the thickness? Alright, as long as I draw a three drop here. A two drop. If I get a three, I guess I'll coin it. An eight drop. Things are not going our way last game or this game. What happened in Office Space again? Was that the one where he wakes up? 
Relives the same day? No, that's um, Groundhog's Day. We watched Office Space. That's the one where he uh, gets hypnotized and then the guy dies and he's working that like office job he hates. Uh, a turn to late. It, uh, had the guy smash the uh, the copy machine. Here's me thinking the old man part of the story was the fact that you were buying New Balance. Yeah, that's part of it. That is part of it. I just wanted cheap athletic shoes. And every pair of like New Balances or whatever, they're like $100. An Adidas or like a Nike or even like these other off brands. Like everything was $100 to try to get a pair of shoes. Back in my day, I think they cost less. I don't really remember. How have I drawn this poorly? I guess I could have played Gatekeeper to try to find it. Two? I actually don't have many twos either. Do they not have Groundhog's Day in Australia? Office Space is the one where his boss really needs those TPS reports. He does. He needs them bad. He needs those TPS reports. <sighs> oh, I, I also want to say I was playing Marvel Snap earlier today and I was ranked 99 or whatever level. I don't know, was it rank? 99 with six out of seven cubes and then i got scammed in the last game and now i'm like rank 97 so i'm not playing marvel snap for two weeks just want to make that clear i could also get to infinite but now i don't want to invest the time you understand my comment about your penis now no you didn't explain it at all Groundhog's Day is coming up in less than two weeks. Wait, he can't have another one of those, can he? That ain't right. I don't understand it either. Are you saying Red likes Jennifer Aniston? It's self-evident. What I want to reiterate is Poet said this was a good joke. This joke that nobody understands that he's been explaining for half an hour. In Poet's mind, he did a good job. I'm not going back and reading Poet's comments. A smarter woman than the rest of us. Unfortunately, part of my job is to read that guy's comments. It leaves him with a 1-1, one, one, which maybe makes it hard to kill the thing, maybe. You're letting me go? Crackers are family food. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me start over. You're letting me go? Oh, crackers are family food. Happy families. Maybe single people buy crackers. We don't know. We don't want to know. Frankly, it's a market we can do without. That's it? After 10 years? So long? Good luck? I don't recall saying good luck. <laughs> uh, top 100. Probably top 50. Maybe top 25. <laughs> Frankly, it's a market we can do without. A cracker company that won't, um, that won't cater to... Single people. <laughs> Any problem? Oh man, were you here when we were doing the ones from Homer Badman when he sexually harasses when he gets accused of sexually harassing the babysitter? I read that comic poet and I loved it, which might be a bad sign because I don't have a fully functional mind. <laughs> it's a bad thing, and I borrow a feeling. Um, didn't he have a like a jacket with the, like the album cover? Jesse. My friend Jesse had a jacket with the Cat Can I Bor Borrow Feeling album cover, like a patch sewed on to it. I miss Jesse. He's a great guy. I have to give him a call. I talked to him a little while ago, but not enough. Surely not enough. Who is next on the chopping block? Still have this. I was dying? Okay, good, good. Good. Better quit while I'm behind. Hope I am behind. Smelly buying lottery tickets. Yeah. You gotta buy yourself a smelly lottery ticket. Kill it. Nine. Oh, is that active? That's not active. I have one duplicate. I guess I can always do this first. Fucker. Now it's active and I want it. I want Poe to explain the joke now, otherwise I'll just be guessing. 
sometimes he makes he'll just say something and try to convince like it's like an anti-riddle like there's no answer he just is trolling you to try to like pretend like there is one it's like when you go on reddit and somebody's like oh my god i can't believe you know when i saw this i blew my mind and they show you a picture where there's nothing and then everybody like um everybody in the comments like what is it what is it I'm such a sucker, I fell for it. Don't worry. Poet will be held accountable. If he didn't roll a taunt, if he didn't roll a taunt, <laughs> I would be in a better spot here. Is this an elemental? Alright, maybe I get... Darn it, that stinks. So good if you didn't roll a taunt. Is the honorable kill trigger if you attack a 6 6 into a 6 6? Yeah, it remains a 9 3. I've had two really, really good fun decks today, and they both might go 6. Write that down. And that stinks. He's not pushing that much here. I have to assume he has. 14 hexes now? Run, 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 run. I bet my Wookiee. It's the bleat beating of the hideous heart. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember all the lines for that one. I, I, I like that one though, it's good. Will is not my own. I get a rare treasure? Rare treasure? Could be good. Deal two to all. Could be good. I need to deal some damage. Could have been incredible. A short. If I had all this mana, I could do it. I want the, the life gain for sure. We've also arrested your older, fat, balder, fatter son. <laughs> that's, that's the best line, the second best line. Look, that uh, bartender really looks like John Travolta. <laughs> yeah, looks like. More Bort license flights. I repeat, we need more Bort license flights. What the fuck? Okay, I... Wait, I can't... Wait a minute. I can't kill that. Oh, now I can. Oh, and I can play the legendary too. can hit this one. I guess I want to hit this one. Or I can swing there. Let's form all your other minions into ones that cost three more. Oh lord. Alright, I'll just kill this one because I don't want him to do anything too tricky. So I could have gone face, but that's way I get the attack. Uh, what did I trade my cards into, by the way? What did I lose? Proto, a 3, and a 1. And the Tendril became an Infested Watcher? Sick! Also can kill him if he doesn't remove this. I can't wait for those magic packs. Which cards do you think we're going to get? I've got the beast in my side. Beard has a Chained Guardian that is playable. <laughs> it's a rarity. It's a rare pity. Death cannot be found. Maybe I should have played this one. Guide to BGH, it's an unplayable card. Is there a card list online? Uh, Ravnica Remastered, you can see them all. Remember, we always want a serially numbered card. You might have different ideas, maybe you want a different one than we want. 
That cost him 8 mana. Maybe he didn't get offered any other AoE and he's like, bring it. Found it. Image gallery. Now are they showing the, um, the collectors? Alternate arts. Uh, I want Moroi. I like that card. 4 mana 4-4 four, four flyer. Remember that? I think this web side is bugging out my computer. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. to push to an extra four. Nowadays I feel every card generates a million other cards. It does feel like that happens a lot, yeah. It does happen a lot. Never be afraid of your inner power. I like when Redbeard makes our comments sound funnier than what they are. Do I do that? This site isn't loading properly for me. It's huge. So it was hard to scroll through. Let's hope we don't get another turtle. Uh, no turtle in this set. What was the turtle set? What did we buy? Oh, that was the Wilds of Eldrain. Sex Cauldron? I thought they closed that place down. Don't forget about the C-H-I-L-R-D-R-E-N. Sex cauldron. <laughs> uh, that's good. Oh, you know what my favorite line from that one is? My favorite anything from that. You should not get to keep discovering if you killed your own card there. Not flavorful. Um, it's like, I heard a, you know, I heard a monster lives there. I heard a Frankenstein lives there. I heard, uh, you know, no, that's the house. They take the brains out of zombies and put them into the heads of other zombies, creating a race of super zombies. That's the house? <laughs> Why did my cards cost more? The way he reads that is just so funny. That's the house? Like, they knew it existed. <laughs> uh, turd the Tides. Might be better to play that. Um... Deal six, but I guess I'm... I, I don't know. Six, 11, 14, six, 11, 14, 15, 16. How much do I have? Why can't I do the math here? This is more damage than this. Six. Okay, that was hard fought. We at least made it to seven. At least made it seven. Poet's on a heater. He's got to be the favorite for poster of the month. I like when red makes me look like a wet bag of sand. Chuck, I'm going to have to deep throat your thermometer. Oh, come on. This feels like judge collusion over here. Feels like there's a little bit of quid pro quo going on. Game's been tough. Nothing easy when you're sleazy, man. All right, that's one of our dupes. Plus one of our treasures. Plus a giant tumbleweed. I love the grandpa going in. Oh, yeah, that's where that one's from. <laughs> Are you Bart? <laughs> yes. Does your father know I you're here? He's the one that told me I had to be here. All right, I'll have a whiskey sour, you know? <laughs> Whatever he says. I don't can't remember. <laughs> I love he starts that, though. I think he says that. Are you Bart? <laughs> Not like Bart, what are you doing here? <laughs> are you Bart? His own grandson. Problem. Anywho, Red, if you got into stoicism, is that a word? You think you could even stream anymore? Why is there a creature type weird? Weird are creature types. Weird. Weird. Weirdlings. You know? Weird familiars. You're just weird. What, are you getting, you're getting excited for the magic packs? So, when, when you buy them from the store... How did you get it? Man, they're so much cheaper if you if you buy them, you know, in in other venues. Mm. If you buy them from like the big box shops, they're like $35. But usually they're like, you know, they're cheaper. But you can buy a booster box of them for like $240, I think, $230, $240. And you get 12 packs. It's a much better deal. Man, this is good. But then I'm overloaded and I can't play that. Then I'm over oh I'm overloaded for two. I can't even play the watchers the following turn. So much 
It's cheaper if you steal them. Yes, they are. But I have like year passes to GameStop and to Barnes and Noble. So like they discount everything a bit and they give you like coupons and stuff. So it's not that much, but like better to just buy a box. But then like I could order it right now and then I have to wait like, you know, three or four or five or a week uh, amount of days. And then I feel like when I have 12 of them, then I just open them all. Whereas if I just go and buy one or two, then I can, you know, it's like something to look forward to. It's somewhere to go. <laughs> it's somewhere to go in my day. Please kill this guy somehow. Ooh, freeze this guy. Hmm. Can't say I hate that. If I play this, I'll have six, which means I can't play that still. The deck needs more elementals. I'm trying to sort the huge amount of cards by bangers, but I can't figure it out. I just sorted them by type, and one of them was weird. Go type, um, here, go to this website. Um. Here you go. Uh, no! Oh my god, I fucking hate this crab! In fact, I hate it so much, I'm gonna draw mine and kill it. Maybe I should throw one in. Um, here. I'm gonna send you the link. And then you can sort by price, and you can see what the bangers are. And you can decide which ones you like the most. Golden Krusty. I'll have a Golden Krusty. Red Weird would be in a weird pile, true. Made with something here. Just. No, 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 no. Hey, I, got you, oh, sure. I thought he was gonna like brew it back or something. We want Crunchy. I mean, for having hit my crab into crab? Uh, to be at 16 feels nice. Ah, uh, how, how nice. How nice indeed. I have a hex in my deck. I passed a hex at one point for something. What it was, I can't remember. Streamer luck. Yeah, streamer luck. One mana to kill my own board. Hit by two fucking crabs back to back. The luckiest guy that ever lived. I can die a turn later now. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? He's doing that rather than playing his guy again? I guess he's maybe a little worried I just throw everything face, huh? I suppose that makes some sense. Nutbuster? I mean, we were lucky to get the canary. I know what you're saying. I, I get it. I get it. The shroom skivate for the hex? Oh, I, I support that. Uh, I think at the time it wasn't quote unquote right. I, I support it because. Um, Having gotten access to all four has been really fun, but it's also really strong too, right? Back in the day, you always wanted a random spell if you were behind. Did that change? I mean, you want cards because cards do things. But you don't always get what you want, right? My will is not my own. Alright, we got the, uh, the good old shock hopper. I don't know what this is doing. I actually don't know what I'm doing right now. You know, one of his cards is a... Oh, he has two dead cards. He has a 1-2 taunt and a 6-6. Six, six. I mean, they're not dead cards, but like, they're not really all that useful for him. Oh, but I don't have board space. Aw, oh, shit. Get the value from this. I might as well trade stuff. Maybe not. Maybe yes. I guess it's just free damage, right? Uh, no. It's 
Oh, yeah, 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 it's free. So it doesn't matter. Lethal? Oh, yeah, of course, lethal. I mean, why the heck is a swirling tube of wind carrying a cow worth more than Aurelia? At least when I see Poké cards, the coolest looking ones are the most valuable. Magic cards' value are um, a lot of times dictated less so by the art and more on the playability. Whereas Pokemon cards value is much more on the art than the playability and the characters themselves. People like, you know, Charizard and uh, uh, what's that thing? Rayquaza and stuff like that. Pikachu. Magic has a real economy. Magic actually has more of a, an economy. There are cards. They're, they're really, it's not so much like characters. It's more um, scarcity and playability. And Magic has a lot of viable formats that people play, so that sort of um, Greetings, friend. that sort of affects the the economy. People play standard, and some cards are valuable because they're very competitive in standard. What a hand! What a hand! I think Blastoise is cooler than Charizard. He has water cannons. Uh, I like Blastoise more than Charizard, and I like Venusaur more than Charizard. I think Charizard is a bit overrated. Charizard is like. For people like dreads and i know we always pick on dreads but i mean like yeah you know, it's like the nor it's the normie pick right like the lane pick like the people whose favorite sports teams are the lakers the yankees and the patriots and now the golden state warriors and the kansas city chiefs and such i wanted charmander because he was a fire type charmander's a lot cooler than charizard he's way cuter plus remember that episode where he was um Remember that episode where he was law uh they left him out in the cold in the rain? And then they went back to save him. I mean none of this matters, the game's over already. That was so sad. That was very sad. Became my first Pokemon. Yeah, Charmander. Charmander and Gwirtle are cooler than Bulbasaur. Uh all the the middle um All the middle evolutions are kinda like equivalently like not so cool. And then the um, the other ones are. Uh... Then I would go Blastoise, then Venusaur, then Charizard. But they're all kind of cool. I mean, they're all better than like a pair of keys or sword or anything. Stupid modern Pokemon. Oh, I'm not raiding anybody yet. But we'll mark this one. Um, uh, this has got to go up on YouTube. Everybody on YouTube. Who's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> What'd you think about that run? Was that a fun last game?